Can you smell what the Dwayne is cooking? Sweet tap dancing baby Jesus. What in the f did we just watch? Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In this installment, we're counting down the top 5 facts about Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at some lesser known fun facts about actor and former professional wrestler Dwayne Johnson. The world is ready, the rock is ready, it is an honor and a privilege to always say, finally, the rock has come back! Number five, he comes from a family of professional wrestlers. You know, I got a son, and one day, he's gonna become the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. The Rock is one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time, but he's not the only member of his family with a wrestling legacy. His family has produced five WWE Hall of Fame inductees, including The Rock's own father and grandfather. As a result, he was billed as the first third-generation superstar of the organization. The Inoue family, connected to The Rock's line through a blood brother pact, have their own wrestling school that has produced a number of big names over the years. Even Dwayne's own grandmother has been active in the industry, working as a promoter throughout the 1980s. Looking at the Johnson family tree, it becomes abundantly clear that these wrestling roots run deep. Number four, he wanted to be in the NFL. So I want you to do something for me. Yes? Why don't you come out and play football for me? I said, okay. Standing at 6 feet 5 inches tall and weighing over 250 pounds, it isn't hard to imagine Johnson running through defenders while making opposing quarterbacks cower in fear. And that's exactly what he did. Before he stepped into the ring or walked across a Hollywood set, Johnson's life revolved around football. He was recruited by the University of Miami as a defender lineman, but was unable to maintain the starting role on the team due to injury. After college, the Canadian Stampeders of the Canadian Football League signed Johnson with their practice squad, but he was cut after only two months. No worries, the WWE soon found a use for his unique skill set. If you smell it, <laughs> then at the end you gotta, ow, you gotta do that. Number three, The Rock was not its first wrestling name. The Rock Obama. The most electrifying man in sports entertainment deserves a title that conveys the same strength he showed as a magnetic performer, charismatic speaker, and downright dirty trash talker. But it took him a while to find it. When Johnson first got involved in wrestling, he did so under the name Flex Cavana. Upon joining the WWE, he adopted the name Rocky Maivia as an homage to both his father, Rocky Johnson, and grandfather, Peter Maivia. Quite frankly though, neither of these early monikers roll off the tongue quite as easily as The Rock, nor do they have the same panache. Thankfully, Johnson decided to make the change, and the rest, as we say, is history. Number two, he was in a gang. So as I was growing up as a teenager uh, in Hawaii, I used to get in trouble a lot, doing a lot of things I shouldn't have been doing, arrested multiple times. With his hearty smile and laid-back demeanor, it's hard to picture Johnson as a teen hoodlum robbing tourists in Hawaii. But that's exactly what his early years looked like. While living in Honolulu, Johnson became involved in a thief ring that targeted tourists in Waikiki, a beachfront district in the island of Oahu. The gang operated by identifying and stealing expensive clothes, jewelry, and cash from unsuspecting people visiting the area. Before his 17th birthday, Johnson would be arrested numerous times for his involvement in the gang. Thankfully, he managed to turn his life around, focusing his efforts on school and football. Number one, he's very charitable. You risk life and limb to save the free world, and what do they give you? Jello and a bad 70s TV show. It's no secret that Hollywood leading men make a lot of money. If only they could all be as generous as Dwayne Johnson. Whether he's turning down promotional deals from Dunkin' Donuts to keep his ego in check, donating $1 million to his alma mater, the University of Miami, or working with children through the Dwayne Johnson Rock Foundation, which he founded in 2006, Johnson has proved time and time again that his sincerity and charity knows no bounds. And yet he somehow finds a way to fit it in between all the film shoots, wrestling events, and working out. Insane! So which of these facts did you find the most interesting? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.